rat tail comb? <laughs> I don't know, I think that's what it's called because it has like a tail. <laughs> and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jasmine chisville and today's video is going to be a hair tutorial video yay so i know you guys have been asking me for a long long time to do a hair tutorial video so today i've decided that i'm going to do that for you guys and it's going to be a few quick and easy vintage hair tutorials which i do when i haven't really curled my hair or something like that or it's on the last day and i really need to wash my hair so without further ado you guys let's get started with the video okay so number one is something really really quick and it's something that I would do on a day where maybe I haven't pin curled my hair or I'm in a rush and I really have no time and I have to leave. Um, so let's get started with that. Okay, so you're gonna need some bobby pins. I have a few and they always end up like running away or I'm always losing them because I don't know why you guys, but they always like go missing. So I always end up having to buy more. <laughs> okay, so this one is gonna be something that I would do, as I said, on my days where my hair needs a wash, which is right now. <laughs> um, so basically what you wanna do is you wanna section your hair. I'm just gonna get a, a thing, a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to need one of these. Not this exact one, but like, uh, is, is it called like a rat tail comb? <laughs> I don't know, I think that's what it's called because it has like a tail. <laughs> but you're going to want to section your hair from just behind the ear. So just like so, and I'm making such a mess, as usual. <laughs> so just section it off. And you're just going to brush it out. So brush your curls out or just brush your hair out. You can have your hair straight. It doesn't have to be curled like mine. And basically, you're just going to keep that section um, like so. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this section and you're going to take it up. Um, I'm going to use my hairbrush this time. Um, and you're going to brush your hair up the way. So your hair is kind of like this. You're holding it right up. And you're going to twist towards you. Put it down flat on your head like so and then just give it a push up. So just push it up and then you're going to take two bobby pins and clasp the hair together. Okay, this one, I do not like that bobby pin. That one's like solid, I don't know why. <laughs> I really should throw that one out. <laughs> okay, so just like so. So that is one side. So it's just like that um, and then you can either just leave your hair and then like if you had a fringe and clip another section behind it but sometimes I like to take it but I can show you guys that. Um, so if you didn't want to get rid of your fringe, if you're having a good fringe day, you're just going to do the same, take the hair from behind the ears. I have so much hairspray in my hair you guys today so <sighs> I was filming some TikToks earlier and I was like okay I have to film a YouTube video and I had so much hairspray in my hair. <laughs> so I'm going to use my brush because I have so much hair spray in my hair that I have to like use my brush as a hand. So basically you're going to bring it all the way up again up to the top and you want to twist it towards you, push it down and press up just like so. And then my brush you're like, oh, I'm telling you, I'm having it. <laughs> it's some day today. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Um, it is definitely a little cute style. It is from the 50s and it just does that. So it just kind of puts this up back, gives you some height and just like so. So you can leave your fringe or again, as I said, you can clip your fringe back in with it. You can even do it just like so, like just kind of make it like a wave, kind of clasp it over and then push it in and clip it away. So you can have it like that. Okay, let's, let's, let me show you. <laughs> So just like so, um, my hair, as I said, is like, because it's been set and things like that, it might not go perfectly, but it works perfectly with like straight hair as well. And then if I show you, if you take this out, I can show you what it would look like with the fringe. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my hands just because, to section my hair, just because it, I wanna show you guys quickly. So, so you're just gonna brush everything like away. So it's all tight. And I just lift the hair up. I like to brush like, I like to brush like my bangs over just so it creates like a kind of side part. And then again, you want to twist it towards you and push it up just like so. And then you can fix whatever size that you want. Well done. My best job is just keeps coming out. <laughs> 
So here is the style. <laughs> it's a cute 50 style and then you just to get rid of all the flyaways, you're gonna use a hairspray, whatever hairspray of your choice and just put your hair. And that is that. <laughs> that is the first style. <laughs> okay, so as I've been filming this, like I feel like everything like is just falling apart. <laughs> Like, I'm losing my curvy grip, I'm bringing out the ones that don't even work, and then my top like keeps coming down, so I'm like, no, it's not, it's not going well. <laughs> okay, so here's my hair back down, um, out of the curvy grips. So a lot of people have asked me about victory rolls as well, so here we go. <laughs> Okay, so with Victory Rolls, that is a 1940s style and to do that, it is basically the same thing but you're just curling the hair instead of twisting it. So let's do that. Um, so again, you're going to section it behind the ears and I should be using this comb but I don't know, I'm, I'm so used to just doing it with my, with my nails now because they are so long right now because I did have them done but I really need to get them filled in so the nails are like growing out so long. <laughs> but anyway, you can take them from behind the ears and what you want to do is again, you want to brush your hair up the way. And then once you get it like, I'm going to like lean back a little ball. Once you get it like right up, you're going to take the ends and start curling the, the ends towards you. So just like so, right in there. So you kind of create like a barrel, if you can see, like a little barrel right here. And then you're going to take your curvy grip and you're going to put it right in the center. So there you go. <laughs> so that is kind of what it would look like. So that is one curl done. <laughs> and again, you want to use as many curvy grips as you can just to keep that secure. So I'm going to go right back into the barrel to hold it in. Um, and I have some flyaways so you can just spray that with hairspray and it'll keep it together. So that is the first victory roll that I have done. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get it right first time when I was nervous. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm filming and you guys are watching me and I want to get it right. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have like pegs. I really need to cut these off. These things really annoy me. I don't know if they annoy anybody else, but these little guys, I don't know, but they do help when I hang my top off. <laughs> so for the other side, you're going to collect, like, again, separate it from behind the ear. You can also use your comb, like I mentioned in the beginning. <laughs> but sometimes I just don't. Sometimes I just like to do it with my nails, as I said. Um, and again, you're going to brush it up the way, and then you're going to take the ends and start curling it towards you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have hair everywhere. <laughs> so, as you said, you just, even if there's any other hairs that you want to clip into place, you just take some Kirby grip and pin them in. I have this random hair that keeps like getting in my face. <laughs> okay, so here are my victory rolls. You can see them here. And this is a 1940s style. And I haven't done that them like very often, but when I do try it, I do try my best. <laughs> so I hope you like them. Um, they actually are just as easy as the other one. You're just you're just curling it in the way and pinning it and the other way you're just twisting it so it's pretty similar and yeah so what you can do is you curl them underneath you can turn it into a page boy or just cur curl them make them a softer curl um it's always like really cute so here we go <laughs> so there we go and i, I want to like stop this like from being too volumized so i'm just going to pin it down just a little bit so there you go. And my hair is really volumized because I have been back combing it and I have been curling it for a long time, like the last couple of days. Um, so it will like kind of sit really volumized right now. And yeah, <laughs> but I would also recommend that if you are doing any of these hairstyles as well to back comb it. I just didn't back comb it because I've been back combing my hair like so much the last day to keep my hair and my curls and my fringe set. So before you do any of these styles, remember just to back comb. So just tease the hair towards you and then smooth it out 
and then do the twists. Um, I need to clean this brush, sorry you guys. <laughs> and then do the twist or the curl towards you and it will give you this volume as well. Then you are gonna go in with your hairspray and spray all the way the loose ends and there you are, there is the hairstyle. <laughs> Okay, so the last style that we're going to do is going to be inspired by Grace Kelly and she used to wear this style a lot. Um, so we're going to see how it comes out now because um, I've had my hair pinned. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to take these pins out for just now. <laughs> uh, I'm actually proud of myself. I was like, I did actually pretty well with these victory curls. <laughs> Sometimes I never know how they're going to come out. So with Grace Kelly's hair, she mostly had her hair back the way. So we're going to do that. <laughs> okay, so because I've had my hair in clips and I've had it set for so long, it's like really different. <laughs> It's so different to what I'm used to. So what she would do is she would have her hair like all the way brushed back into like, it's like a sleek kind of way um, and have the curls coming under or have them just loose at the side. I just curled my hair under and then you can spray it with some hairspray. And of course you're not gonna have this dent because that is where I always have my fringe so my fringe always dents there. <laughs> so this is like the Grace Kelly inspired just quickly. So if you have any curls and you just want to do something, just clip the hair, just brush your hair back and it goes into a nice Grace Kelly look. You can also take some sections if you want to give it some volume, you can do some pins and back combing and things like that to brush it up. So yeah, so this is my quick and easy Grace Kelly inspired hair. <laughs> I don't know if I suit it. I'm like really, I'm always like so self-conscious because I'm like, do I suit other styles? Um, because I love the one I do every single day, but I have, I did remember, well, I do remember using this style when I first started dressing vintage and I really, really liked it. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> and if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. I'm almost at 50K. I am so thankful. Thank you all so, so much. I love you all. And let me know if you'd like to see some more hair tutorials and things like that, because that was kind of fun, even though it was like a complete disaster. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope I was able to show you guys how to do certain styles and things like that. So don't forget to check me out on my Instagram and my TikTok page. It's just at Jasmine Cheswell. I post a lot of pictures and videos there. So that'd be amazing if you guys check me out there too. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will speak to you all very, very soon.